Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brandon Wynn and this is Critical Failure. So this is the first actual true video in such a long time, and we are continuing off of Mordekane and Stone of Foes with the Navasau, the very elongated demon Slenderman thing with wings. That's the best that I could really show you. It's something that you'd see in the corner when you're like having sleep paralysis with your chair full of clothes. Uh, but yeah, these things are... Uh, outcasts for even demons sakes like these things are terrifying not only in terms of just seeing it but like they hunt literally even other demons which i mean isn't necessarily uncommon but these things are just brutal they try to get summoned by other uh by anyone really just so they can devour souls like that's all they care about very rarely do they work together but when they do they try to take down whatever it is uh only really powerful uh Nabisau actually go after demon lords but these things are surprisingly uh really cool uh i mean if i were you i would use this as a potential like early campaign uh boss of some sort basically have this thing causing a lot of problems and you, it's like the biggest issue with like your uh beginning uh party now this thing is a medium fiend it's chaotic evil and it's obviously a demon. Uh, it has an AC of 18, it's natural armor. It has an average hit points of 190, but it's 20 D8 plus 100. Its speed is 40 feet flying. No, speed is 40 foot walking, 60 flying, sorry. It has a strength of 22 plus 6, dexterity 14 plus 2, constitution 21 plus 5, intelligence 14 plus 2, Wisdom, 15 plus 2, and a Charisma of 17 plus 3. I'm actually very surprised by that Charisma. I would typically think that this thing would have shit Charisma because it's freaking terrifying looking, but hey, demons are charismatic. Uh, it has saving throw of Strength 11 and a Dexterity of 17. Uh, these things are literally so skinny and disgusting looking. It has four fingers, I just noticed that. Uh, technically three and a thumb. Uh, but... And its proficient skills are perception, which is plus seven. Uh, its damage resistances are cold, fire, lightning, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing for non-magical weapons. Uh, I would say for the sake of it, just give it plus one uh, non-magical uh, weapons of, that aren't plus one. Uh, immunities, poison. Condition immunities, poisoned. I'm actually surprised. I would figure necrotic would be in there somewhere. And it's not does normal damage for necrotic and these things will literally ooze death uh senses dark vision 60 feet has a passive perception of 17 it speaks abyssal and telepathy of 120 feet i would say it could i would say why not have it learn some sort of mimicry i feel like it would be good at that challenge rating of 15 i lied this thing is a lot stronger than i thought it was uh 1300 xp i would dumb this down a lot for just a fucking early party Demonic Shadows, it's one of his abilities. The Nabasau darkens the area around its body within uh, within a 10-foot radius. Non-magical light can't illuminate this area of dim light. It's just dim light, so basically it's nothing too bad. And Devour Soul. A Nabasau can eat the soul of a creature it has killed within the last hour, provided that the creature is neither a construct nor an undead. The Devouring requires a Nabasau to be within 5 feet of the creature for at least 10 minutes. So, I mean, like, if you're watching your party member getting eaten by this thing you have time to deal with it after which it gains the number of uh hit dice equal to half the creature's number of hit dice uh roll the dice it increases the Nabasau's hit points by the number rolled for every four hit dice the Nabasau gains in this way oh its attacks deal an extra three uh 1d6 damage on hit the Nabasau retains these benefits for six days. Holy crap, you can easily OP a freaking party. Creature devoured by the Nabasau can only be restored to life by wish spell. Yep, I believe it. Magic resistance. Nabasau has advantage on saving throws against uh, magic and other uh, magical effects, so spells, stuff like that. And magic weapons, It whatever weapons it... Uh, the Nabasau's weapons are considered magical, so I would say anything it picks up. Also, it knows multi-attack. Uh, it can use its soul stealing gaze and make uh, the Nabasau uses its soul stealing gaze and two attacks one with its claws and one with its bite. I say whatever you want to use it with. Uh, claws are melee weapon plus 11 to hit, reach a five feet. I would say shit, 10 for these things. Uh, 
It's one target only, average 17, but 2d10 plus six slashing damage. Uh, it's bite, this is where I would say add some like poison or necrotic damage. Uh, it's bite plus 11 to hit plus five, uh, I mean, reach of five feet, I would say uh, that makes sense. Uh, one target only, 32 average, but 40, 12 plus six piercing. I would say add some uh, like uh, poison or necrotic, definitely, like a d6 or 2d6, possibly 2d4. Uh, stole ceiling gaze. The novice owl targets one creature you can see within 30 feet of it. If the target can see the novice owl and it isn't, con is, mm, sorry, isn't a construct or undead, it must succeed a dc16 charisma save or reduce its hit point maximum by 13 2d12 and give the novice an equal number of temporary hit points. This reduction lasts until the target finishes a short or long rest. Wow. The target the target dies if the hit point maximum is reduced to zero and if the target is humanoid. If immediately rise oh, sorry. And if the target is humanoid, it immediately rises as a ghoul under the novice house control. So I misread that last part. But that is crazy. That thing will literally tear your ass up. Uh if you are a DM, I would say use one of these sparingly on your party, because I realized how tough it was. Uh a lot tougher than I expected for a small level party I would say try to kind of have it hinted at a lot in the beginning and then kind of just spread it in there I think that'd be really cool mainly for how I was running a campaign for basically demons taking over the continent uh, I think that'd be really cool not gonna lie so whatever it is definitely keep an open mind to even not don't even be afraid to not eliminate uh a group like obviously they're going to be fighting something so powerful sometimes the novice can just be like i don't want to deal with you you're going to be good souls later and then just fuck off you know so i think that'd be really cool so yeah that's the novice out i'm going to be doing a deeper video later on once i actually get all my stuff set up uh thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it hopefully i can get my fucking haircut soon and once i can graduate from what i'm doing this friday i'll be able to post a lot more so Thank you guys for watching again. Please leave a uh, like and a comment below of what you'd like to see us from us. See from us, sorry. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty real. So see you guys.